I'm here with men's soccer head coach Ed Matz following a two to one comeback victory versus St. Rose here at home. And coach, my first question for you, you guys are the comeback kids. You came back against the Delphi, you were down to 10 men, got a result out of that, got the tie, and now here a win at home. You were saying St. Rose was a great team, but I thought you guys played very well. So just talk about the energy from this group today. Yeah, I, I really think that a Delphi game just uh, set the tone for us. You know, I, I say every year that a team has, takes on a different character, you know, uh, whether they're going to come back or put their heads down. Down. And against Delphi being a man down, goal down, you know, we, we just kept playing and we got a hard fought point against a, a very tough team. And you know, I, I told the boys before today's game, this is, uh, I, I thought, two very, very good teams um, going at each other. I thought it was going to be a great soccer game and, and a great match, and it, it was. Daniel Paulson today, a goal and an assist. Sometimes maybe flies under Gustav's radar in terms of his impact on the team, but he really came through today. You know, D Daniel is such a great kid, and I'm so happy for him. His, his dad's over from Sweden. Um, got to see the game. Got to see him get a goal and an assist. But there's no one that that works harder than Daniel. There's no there's no athlete assumption that that's at practice 90 minutes before hitting free kicks um, and doing all the stuff he does. He's always in watching film. He took the uh, he took the loss personally against Malloy and on, on the bus on the way home. He's he's bringing up clips, asking what he can do better. So I'm very happy and proud for Daniel. A tough road test coming up against uh, Southern Connecticut, and then number two in the country, uh, Franklin Pierce. So how are you feeling going into that one? Obviously, you guys are playing very well right now, but undoubtedly a really tough test coming up. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, every single game we have down the stretch is going to be a dogfight. I think every game is going to be like this. You know, and it's just whether we can um, come out with this energy, this composure, and sustain it for 90 minutes. It's, you know, I, I just don't think anything's easy in the NE10 this year. A very good win for the Greyhounds today. Up next, a visit to New Haven on October 11th to take on the Owls. Coach, thank you. Thank you.